Hi there everybody, just come back from a nice walk around the park. Beautiful, beautiful afternoon and early evening today. Just blue skies, crisp, very cold. And, um, you know, I've been doing a few CVs, reviews, as you know. You know, I do them sort of virtually every single day. And one of the biggest sort of disjoints that I see is when I see someone's CV, and it's actually quite good, and then I usually have a look at their LinkedIn profile just to see how their CV matches with their LinkedIn profile, their online presence. And it's quite surprising when I see there is quite a disjoint between the two. And that surprises me because when you think about it, your CV is something that is requested of you by an agency or a hiring manager. So you, you would then email that to them. But your LinkedIn profile is out there. That's out there for all and sundry to see. That is your online presence as far as contracting is concerned. And um, you've got to put yourself in the shoes of the recruiter. If I was a recruiter, then the first thing I'm going to do if I need a project manager or a SQL developer or a monitoring consultant is that I'm going to, before that job is even put on the job board, before I post it on JobServe, for example, I'm going to tap my network, aren't I? I'm going to look to see, is it, well, A, I'm going to think, is there anyone that springs to mind? Who have I been in contact with recently? Who comes across as a really good guy or girl, you know, whatever? And, you know, I'll contact them first. So that's one thing. There's a, there's a you know, a recency about it, you know. Is that even a word? The next thing I'll do is I'll search my current network to see who is in my connection list that is a monitoring consultant, for example, right? And then I'll reach out to them. But maybe I'll look at their profile. And if I look at three people's profiles and there's a profile there that just looks like it's half assed you know, it's, it's not even complete. It's just not got much information on it. Or it just doesn't give that really good first impression. Whereas another one does then maybe that recruiter might just bypass you and go straight to that profile. Now, maybe not, but you're taking a risk by having a profile that's less than, less than adequate, less than, you know, is really selling your skills. If you've got all that stuff on your CV, but you've not got the same information on your LinkedIn profile, then you're definitely missing a trick. And Something I always say, always say to get people started, my number one top tip, my top tip for LinkedIn is get recommendations, okay? Apart from, you know, keeping it up to date and giving it a bit of a revamp, of course you can do that. But ask for recommendations. So tap your own network for, you know, current colleagues, past colleagues, friends that you've got on LinkedIn. Try and get some recommendations there of some sort to build that profile credibility. Because if I look down someone's profile, I'm going to look at look at the profile, look at their headline, look at their picture, look at their banner image, all that sort of stuff. Look at their work history, what descriptions have they got for their roles. I'll look for their skills and I'll look at their recommendations and I might read what other people think of you. OK, that's a reasonable assumption to make, I think. So please definitely go and ask for recommendations and don't feel bad about doing so because you can always say to someone, look, could you write me a recommendation? I really appreciate it. I'm looking for work at the moment. And when you're looking for work, I'll gladly write you one too. Okay, so you can offer, offer that in return. So definitely, definitely tap your network, ask for recommendations and don't neglect your LinkedIn profile, okay? Especially if there's a real mismatch between your CV and your LinkedIn profile, because then that makes me just think, hang on, why have they not done their LinkedIn profile when that's the thing I'm looking at, okay? Put yourself in the shoes of a hiring manager. And of course, if you need help with your LinkedIn profile, then I offer my uh, LinkedIn Supercharger review service. I've done a few of those now, really, really good results with those. So I basically just go through your whole LinkedIn profile and tell you all the things that I think you're not taking advantage of, things I think you could improve so that you do create that online presence that you want a recruiter to see you want a hiring manager to see before they put a job on the job board and they contact you you get one of those three cv slots you get put forward for the role and you get that offer that's of course our ultimate aim isn't it
So I hope that's useful. I wish you all the best. Hope your start to the week and your start to March is going really well. Spring is in the air. Let's get things sorted. Let's get you um, contract roles if you're looking for roles. And uh, I wish you all the best for the coming week. Okay, all the best. Speak soon.